Welcome back to the Good Morning Niger Show. Today we have a very interesting guest and one that I am personally interested in and rooting for. We just recently concluded Access to Stars reality TV show season one. And the first ever winner of Access to Stars is Lovin Charles. He is our guest today. He's going to be sharing with us his journey, his story, his talent, what meaning meant to him, and basically everything that we don't see behind the scenes. It's good to have you here as my guest again. Charles. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I think Good it's morning, time to Africa. officially say uh, uh, congratulations, even though we've said that to you over and over again. Because in the history, whenever we say that you, whenever we talk about access to stars, it is important to mention that you're the first ever winner of the reality TV show. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Uh -uh. Wow. This morning. You are, it seems you are very, very calm. You are very calm. Cool, collected. What? I say, it seems you are very Aha, calm. Now yeah, this is what I want what? to hear. The one where yeah, they, yeah. you they give us thank you, really appreciate it. Are you calm? Are you always like this? <laughs> or is the fact that money has been there? <laughs> now your level have changed. You are no, you don't need to talk too much anymore. You used to just be calm. So actually, thank you very much. You know, we need you to to speak up, my brother. <laughs> speak up. Make we hear you. You understand? <laughs> Thank All right. you. All right. So maybe we should Good start. Let, let's give a <laughs> uh, hey, now you're arriving. Let's give a background as to mm -hmm. what you do and how you got into where you are. Yes. Uh, on the Access to Stars reality TV show, we talked about your journey from being a makeup artist into becoming a reality TV show winner. Tell us about your journey. How, how did it all begin? And how did you find your way from makeup into music? <laughs> Well, I'm going to say it has been an interesting journey. Like, um, ah, starting with, uh, well, I've always, I started with music right from time. I, I, I uh, makeup was not part of the whole thing in the first place. Um, it was life that showed me how to go to some other thing that can give you some change, you know. <laughs> so um, I started music when I was in uh, Oshun State. I think that was um, in um, 20. Hey, I'm on that 20 long share. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I was doing the music for a while. I was making gospel with the whole thing. I was trying to be a vocal teacher, go to churches. I play instruments and all that. So, um, then I got to Ibadan. Uh, so, I got to Ibadan to um, run hustle that I, I got into makeup. You know, so. Ever since then, I um, I started makeup as an office assistant. I started working with one um, um, uh, makeup company then. So somehow, somehow, I, I started you know liking the vibe and and then I learned it. Um, and since then, I've been mixing makeup and music. You know, work as a makeup artist during the day, like maybe like Monday to Saturday, and then on Sundays, I studio. And most times in the evenings, like Thursday evenings, I go for some open mic shows. Last last year, I started spending the, <laughs> should I say, the salary from makeup on uh, music, you know. Mm. And I was, I kept going for music competitions too. And I've just been mixing the whole thing, Sha. Alongside the other houses too. And the other houses we don't drive in. <laughs> You don't try uh, <laughs> traffic warning before. <laughs> nah, play. Because <laughs> you don't do everything. <laughs> you don't do makeup. You don't do music. Which other also you, you don't do? Which other also you don't do? Ah, brother. A plenty. Okay, um, okay let's start. <laughs> when I, when I, have this big picture now, because I, I like it more than I speak Aha. Wow. So, uh -huh. When, when I was in Ocean State, when I did Ocean, before I, before I left Ocean State, I, I <laughs> one of the funniest work we had to, there was this time in just one hotel, I was the receptionist, I was the room waiter, and I missed to be then chef. Hmm. So. <laughs> I think it's safe to call you Boboni so, Shea, so but just, that, these are some of the things that make your story absolutely beautiful. Yeah. The fact that you did not just contrary to what people think about the concept of overnight success, you've worked your way, you've paid your dues, and yours is a, is, a, is a testament to the fact that regardless of where you are, 
who you are, where you're coming from, or where you've been. If you're consistent with your art and your craft and, and putting in the hard work, you would be able to find yourself at the top. Let's have a feel of Access to Stars, uh, of Access to Stars winner Loving Charles. Let's get his vibe. We're going to listen to a song by him or uh, watch his performance, and then when we come back, we'll continue speaking with him. Um, giving us a message on coronavirus, talking about the role that we need, you know, the fact that he, we can't do it alone, NCDC can't do it alone. We all have to put our hands together and wake up to be able to fight coronavirus. Such a timely message and a timely song. Thank you very much, Love and Charles, for that uh, video. Tell us about the creative process, you know, coming together with the idea for that song, shooting the video. Lead us through everything that happened behind the scenes. Well, um... Wake up was more like a freestyle, I would say. Uh, you know, it was still. I, I recorded it around that time when we, uh, when the lockdown just eased a bit. You know, we still there was this pressure of you know you can't go to the studio, you can't um, go anywhere without the mask and all that. So I was just wondering, I, I should really look for a way to probably get to the studio and do something. You know. So it was. I think the day before that day, I was just playing around with the guitar and then. The vibe just came. I just called one of my studio guys that stayed closer. So I um, went to the studio. I, was, I played the guitar myself, and then the guy just said, oh, yeah, let's play piano and all that. I freestyled the whole, um, I just say, <laughs> the whole song in the oh. studio. I just had the idea in my head, OK, quarantine, social, whatever. And then <laughs> that was it. <laughs> so so uh, would you say that uh, most of the songs you write, you sometimes freestyle them or you actually write the song how, how does it work for you do you listen to beats first before you write or do you write before you listen to the beat or do you just freestyle in the studio and as it comes you just go with the flow how does it work <laughs> for you? okay okay so there, there, there's this idea i i always have in mind you know most times when i watch the i study the music industry i see some artists you know blue for a while you just see the songs blowing and then after a while, you stop seeing them. So I, I started doing something that, OK, for, for some years now, I, I, when, when I'm composing a song, when I see potential in one song, I just keep it. I'll be like, oh, yeah, now this song I'll go drop when I blew. I don't go drop it now. <laughs> <laughs> so with this style, I've been keeping some songs, you know. And then the, most of the songs I've dropped, they are usually freestyle. Okay, let, let me just drop it since I can. I don't have enough resources to push it now. Let me just freestyle this one. Let me drop this one because it's the freestyle. So almost all the songs I've dropped so far are usually freestyled. Adonis, Adonis is the only song I think I wrote completely before I dropped. Every other song has been a freestyle. Was My Uyuyu main... a freestyle too? Uyuyu is a freestyle. Wow. <laughs> it was a freestyle. Wow, okay. wow, wow. What, what's also the influence? You have a Fuji influence in your song. Somehow you always find a way to infuse Fuji to a lot of the songs that you do. Tell us about uh, how that came along or how that came about. Yeah, um, it's still, it's still um, part of what I said earlier that I, I always, um, right from time, in watching the industry and then they always say there's nothing you're going to be the first to do that uh, now one person don't start something before you do it, you understand but then i i try to at least add a touch of what not you know people are not really um, using so um some point when i um my first ever song that i got the sunshine and all that that song <laughs> whenever i took that song back then <laughs> uh, in Ibado, whenever i go to perform I noticed before I perform, when I freestyle, most of the guests will be like, oh, yes, R&B voice, this and that. And then the show organizers don't allow me to last even, they don't even allow me to last two minutes on stage mm. because it's usually an audience where they want at least maybe some touts or something to buy. I mean, I'm just there to do, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, at some point, I was like, I, I should really start, you know, adding some Niger vibe to your style, though, you know. So that was, and I've always been a fan of them, Pasuma, this and I just, just like the, the vibe. I don't really dance. I'm like, okay, there should be a way you can, you know, put these things, maybe small, 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 small everywhere. Yeah. So sometimes I even mix jazz. In some of the songs I've written, I mix jazz, 
look for some way to put Fuji. If I sing soul, I look for a way to put Fuji. Let's see how it can work together. I've even done a, this um, Oriki style in songs before. I just wrote them. I've not really pushed them. I have some of them I recorded in the studio, but because I don't like the sound yet, I couldn't drop them. So, so, so is, always... it, is it safe to say that uh, you are an artist, you are a universal artist? Because you can infuse this one and yeah, that one yeah. and that one together to create but On my stuff. page, you will see Fusion Singer. I put Fusion. Even myself, I don't really understand what the Fusion means. <laughs> 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 Anything like you, just click, you will all put and join. If it just makes sense, you add and join. And sometimes concussion rice is actually always sweeter than uh -huh. fried rice and all these other rice that are pre-planned. You just mix, 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 and you're like, oh, this rice is bad. Okay. Take us back to the day that the grand finale of Access to Stars. Take us back to that moment where you were standing face to face against Kitty and the winner was about to be announced and it could be either of you. The moment where you heard your name and the winner of Access to Stars. 2020 is the first ever episode is love and charles having won that for this first season that moment what was it like for you what were you doing how did you react how did you feel well i was just like wow last last, <laughs> say last, yeah. last. did you expect to win yeah you say last last <laughs> uh... I usually don't know what to say when I'm asked this because going into uh, you know going for the show in the first place, I I, I said I, I I went there to just you know you know try my luck in the first place you know never want to forget that part and then secondly I um I was hoping to win I was hoping one of the judges or maybe two of the judges would at least see that thing most judges have not been seeing in me that. You know, I've been trying to show as most of these talent shows, you know. But most times when I go for talent shows like that, I always try not to be that, that artist that would come and do the same thing everyone is doing. And then, you know, when I went for The Voice, went for um, um, Nigeria Idol and all that, I always go with this vibe. In fact, I remember the last time I went for The Voice, a lady actually came to us at the, um, where we were standing and all that, and she was like, you guys should do something different. And I was like, ah, hey, now my kind of person be this. Why is everybody just doing, ah, hey. you know, so, so in my mind, I was like, oh, they're looking for, <laughs> they're looking for some originality here, yeah. only for me to get to the um, audition room. And then I figured out the uh, judge was not even from Nigeria. So while I was trying to do my um, Fuji and all that, I sang um, Never Far Away by Lagos. She bang by light. Oh, the girl was like, Why are you singing? Can you um sing a song I know? Okay. Yeah. Like, Jesus, it's how I'm singing now. <laughs> then I started singing songs I didn't plan. <laughs> but what I was still doing was every song I picked, I was still singing it in a Fuji way. Mm. I picked some foreign song I still started, you know, I was doing my thing. The guy was just looking at me, guy, can you just you would know that this guy wanted <laughs> mm. oh, so I just so I, I wasn't picked and then since then I was I just felt among oh, Nigerians we are out of competitions here, yeah, they don't really like you being original. They just want you to form like some artist out there and all that. But I so guess when, that theory has been countered because you were your original self and you ended up winning it, access to stars. You didn't have yeah, to change so, to be someone else. Uh, mm -hmm. to win access to stars in all the whole experience going through the reality show from the auditions to boot camp and coming out as the winner of the grand finale what would you say have been some of the most uh, important experiences for you in all of this okay the most important is share the fact that i won <laughs> that's very very important it's important that you won yes yes next i, uh, I wouldn't um, ignore the fact that you know I, I enjoyed the boot camp, you know, I enjoyed the fact that I, I even got to that um, stage where I mingle with other um, art, um, what's it called now, contestants in the house, and then you could even run some, um, should I put it like a diary session now? And then we always have to go for rehearsals. 
you know there were coaches to even put you through even better me i've always been doing music my own vibe all the while i was teaching music now we say i had to learn for google and they teach it for oh, <laughs> that's so now so it was that was the only opportunity i had in my whole you know <laughs> life of doing music to okay even um have a coach and um get songs sometimes it's different challenge i like the fact that it was challenging i know they like learn songs i don't have if you check i don't really have songs like that except i want to score some maybe i like a guitar vibe to learn and all that so the fact that they will give you some and they'll be like you have to perform it tomorrow and you say become the vibe try to learn the song word for word everything you know i really enjoyed all the experience you know Glad the exercise everything i like it so, mm. uh, about uh, the other co contestants we uh, follow you to the show have they seen the fact that now you are the winner have you did you see anybody that you'd like to probably do a collaboration with someone you like ah, i like this guy's sound i like this lady's sound did yes that's, that's, that's actually in fact, in fact we as a matter of fact we had it within ourselves you know we're like whoever do we not view because most of that, that's that's why liked the you know the time i i had there you know M most of the guys there we already have a plan okay guys now you win uh, at least suppose guys we don't know how the thing will be for the other contestants but mm -hmm. one person wrong, promote them mm -hmm. you know we even look for a way to do songs together we had some plans and i have my own personal plan. i'm just hoping everything comes out really nice and I hope that everything comes out really nice for you. You're very talented, and I'm really proud of you and your journey. Everyone, as well, all of us are proud of you and your journey. We wish you all the best, not just with Access to Stars, but with life in general. But it's time for us to get a feel of this Lovin's vibe, this, this vibe that has landed you as a reality TV star winner. Let's talk about putting you on the spot. Mm -hmm. You have a Fuji vibe that you like to add to everything. Who would you say is your favorite artist, first of all, before we proceed? Home and Abroad. That's, that's, that's another problem. Ah, it's true. You don't listen to songs, if I remember correctly. <laughs> you don't listen. Yeah. Okay, but there are some songs that you must know. Mm. For example, yeah. Adele, Hello. You know that song. Everybody knows that song. Yeah, I, All I, right. I I... So, <laughs> can we put you on the spot to do Adele's Hello in your own way? Because you always like to put the Fuji vibe. Are you ready for that? <laughs> Is this something you can do? Or you have another one that you want to do that we can still connect with on a Fuji <laughs> level? Right, right. So, it's a challenge. Life is a challenge. Yeah, <laughs> if you have anyone you want to pick, uh, you can do But if you want, can do the Adele for us, no problem. But if there's anyone, Let's go. So what are we doing? What are we doing? What is our final answer? Your time will soon start now. What are we doing? Um, let me do the idea. Let me take oh, the yeah, challenge. Yeah. And oh, take yeah, off the be... challenge. Oh, yeah, Wake up, Sprout. Let's Your time do. starts in five, four, three, <laughs> two, two, one. one. Action. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. It's me. I was wondering if after all this year she lied to me to go over everything. I forgot I was on things, something. Now that I see a different between us and men, yes, my baby. Hey! <laughs> All right, I'm waiting for the That's chorus. The Hello, for you say. You're proud. <laughs> uh -uh. See the way you just easily went up there. If it's me, I will have hooked. Uh, no, 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 please. Stop it. <laughs> okay, I Don't will compare myself. To... Don't compare yourself <laughs> to All right. singers. So, love, and that, that was beautiful, but I'll leave you to do, you know, maybe a song of yours yeah. or something that so you... So people can feel, you know, your own sound, your own original sound. Let's let, let's let's hear you. Do I like wish a, we had asked you to come with your guitar. Is your uh -huh. guitar close by? Let me let me let me let me. Yeah, get you okay. Oh, yeah. All right, please get your guitar. I come back. So, um, Adewo, yes. I, if I would, if I recall, when I think of lovers' journey and yes. some of the things that have stood out for me the most is the fact that it looked when he was doing it. I just thought he looked very unassuming. It was very simple. I remember the very first day of Lovin's audition. 
at Lagos, you know, in Lagos here. He, looked, he was just this very calm guy in the corner with his guitar. I looked very just trying to make himself viable. He wasn't even showing himself. Now, you know at auditions where you see some people, they, oh, oh. Everybody the idea. Everybody's showing everybody. themselves. Mm -hmm. to, he was just quiet. He wasn't <laughs> doing any of that. Oh, we see he's here. His Jinta has come. Your Jinta. Does oh, your yeah. Jinta have a name? Did you give a name to your Jinta? <laughs> yeah, because people g give their guitars names. Do you have a name for for, for your for your guitar? So is Aduni. Aduni. Oh. Oh yeah, no. That's I like a lie. That. That's Let's my do turn. This. All right, the floor is yours. Let's go. <coughs> Sorry, now go manage this good morning. No boys. worries, it's okay, my it's brother. Okay. We deal with you. <laughs> Adonis playing Adoni for you. Ia wata kopero lokoloa. Hey, this voice. Ia wata kopero lokoloa. Come to me, make my dream a reality. I don't need and come to me. Make my dreams a reality. Yeah. So unusual, yeah. So magical, what I feel. Fell in love with an African woman. I'm Precisely, and say you be local girl. Then come as a soccer song. Only don't you say, Let's take a fix Cause I love you the way that is. Yeah, what the cup and look on the way. Nice song, nice song, nice song, nice song, nice song. So, uh, for people who know to understand the Yoruba way they speak, uh, if you just explain to us what's in the song we're about, so that they will understand, you know, the, the, the music. What's the song about? <laughs> Okay, what's in the music they talk they say um it's it's just like me um seeing one very local girl and instead of me trying to you know um uh, um uh, fall in love with her because, okay okay me i'll put her in this way i'm i'm seeing the local girl Adeline, Adeline, and then i like her because she doesn't even know how to you know live the regular life the you just the, the, the posh life, yeah, and, mm. and the posh life. Do you understand? Actually, actually, when I was doing the song, when I told you it was um, written, but then somehow, somehow freestyled. So the lines I wrote, there were a lot of stuff like, eh, "I like when you do your H, all those H factor, all those Yoruba factor." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when when we were now producing it, the lines could not fit into the production thing, so okay. I just had to freestyle. You. So it was more like creating a picture of a local girl, a typical local girl, and then I fell in love with her. And then towards the second line, it was sounding like she wasn't, um, she wasn't, uh, what's the line, what's the word now? She she was scared or something like that. And me, I was like, ah, me, I love you the way you are. I bad your style, I bad your shuku, if I call it lady, I that I was assuring mm -hmm. her, more like an assurance now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even remind so, me so much of someone, for literature lovers, her name is CD, and she was the, the <laughs> character in Lion and the Drill, well, literally in Lion and the Drill. So 
She reminds me so much of CD, and I think that's a very beautiful story. And also gives us perspective into the fact that sometimes what you think people like about you are the things you're insecure yeah, about the yeah. most are the things that people actually like draw people you. to you. Yeah. So you're probably watching this and you're in insecure about your accent or you're insecure about the way you look or unfortunately insecure about your skin color, whereas it is that same thing that makes you think that you're not, or that makes you feel insecure about yourself that other people love about you. So today we <laughs> urge you to think of Aguni and accept your imperfections. Your imperfections are beautiful. Your imperfections are perfect. And thank you so much for giving me that rema. <laughs> I'm entering into motivation as speaker. Mm. Thank you so much, loving Charles. It's been a delight having you. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.